Hi, we're here with John Wilkerson from TRW, and John's going to take us through some of the uh, automotive technologies that you see displayed in this transparent car that kind of relate to safety and partially automated driving. Uh, John, why don't you just tell us, um, why did TRW come up with this demo and what are we looking at here? Yeah, this is uh, our acrylic car and it really uh, does show off all the various safety technologies that TRW makes. And uh, one of the things that we found is as you take safety technologies, you can broaden and expand them when you have various ones on the car that can then be used to do things like partially automated driving. So we kind of look at this as a building block approach. Um, we start with uh, some of the basics, things that are like electronic stability control that you can see over here and electric power steering. Those are pretty well standard across uh, you know, the, the major western markets and certainly finding their way into the emerging markets. So you'll find those on most cars. Those are the actuators that will actually do things once uh, you sensed perhaps a potential collision or things that may happen that could help you avoid an accident. Um, we also are now moving into the realm of doing uh, advanced environmental sensing technologies. So TRW makes driver assist systems such as a camera system over here that we can see, radar systems, and these can give a 360 degree view around the car so that uh, you, you can actually see what's going on in the environment. When you have an electric uh, power steering, I would imagine that might also play into things like systems that let you automatically park the car, is that true? That is correct. Uh, we actually do uh, park assist systems and part of that is having the electric power steering. Um, we've been in production with uh, Ford Motor Company and some others for some time now. And uh, you know, so automated parking is, is also certainly something that's coming in the future. And uh, again, a number of these systems help enable things like that. What kind of radar technology does the car cars today typically have? Well, what we're looking at on, on this vehicle is our next generation radar system, which is called a AC-1000 system. So AC-1000 actually has various radars around the car to give you that 360 degree view. Those feed into a central processing control unit, which then take all of those inputs, not only from the radars, but from cameras and from some of the other sensors on the car, and then can make uh, high level safety decisions. So uh, typically between the camera and the radar, you fuse data together, and then you're able, the camera is very good at seeing a wider field of view and at object recognition. Radar is very good at long range and with uh, the relative distance between objects and vehicles. So when you fuse that data together, you're able to do a number of high level safety decisions. And a um, question that's on a lot of our readers' minds is where's this technology going? Can you kind of give us a flavor for what the uh, developmental directions might be for you guys? Yeah, you know, you mentioned partially automated driving, Leland, and uh, that's really one of the, the main areas where the industry is heading right now and, and towards fully automated driving at some point. But uh, I'd say over the next three to five years, you'll see a lot of partially automated driving systems that find their way into, uh, into the actual roadways. And they'll start on luxury cars, but they're going to move down to, uh, you know, typical family cars as well. So we're already seeing things like the camera technology uh, be penetrating the market pretty heavily and it's a big growth area for us. But then you start to take those sensors and use them and get all that data of the environment around the car and then you can start integrating with the stability control, the electric power steering. So one of the systems right now that we're demonstrating is called Highway Driving Assist. And Highway Driving Assist can actually um, combine things like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping so that you can, in, in a single lane at least, drive along almost automated with the, your hands off the steering wheel and your feet off of the, the uh, pedals. That's great. And um, the, the technology is such that that's going to happen in um, not just high-end cars, but uh, cars that most of us can afford, right? For sure. Uh, again, we're seeing that already happen on a number of uh, vehicles for you know, Ford, Honda, Toyota, etc., where they have the forward-looking object recognition camera. Uh, they'll move further into radar, and some of them have them already for adaptive cruise control. So as you add those different building block technologies, then you add a lot of 
uh, exponential opportunity to do different things, both for safety and for automated driving. Great. That sounds like a um, quite an interesting future for drivers. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Leland. Okay.